goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Is it possible that the words of Jerry Lee Lewis's famous song may have been referring to ball lightning? A mysterious and elusive atmospheric phenomenon that few have witnessed. The sight of ball lightning is a very rare occurrence, with scientists only recently accepting it as more than just an illusion. This bright blue plasma the size of a golf ball or basketball is known to move erratically, often defying the wind, and it can even enter homes and buildings through chimneys or open windows. But the most frightening encounter with ball lightning happened to a woman in the United Kingdom in 1976. As she ironed during an electrical storm, a ball of lightning shot out of the iron and spun around the room. It burnt through her synthetic dress, and as she brushed the ball away, it left a minor burn on her finger, right near her wedding band. The woman later described the ball as a bright blue to purplish color, a common feature of this atmospheric phenomenon. Ball lightning, also known as globe lightning, has been seen and described since ancient times. Its luminous sphere, usually the size of a small child's head, appears during thunderstorms, sometimes in conjunction with lightning, and sometimes without any obvious connection to anything in this world whatsoever. It can appear before or after a storm. Its lifespan ranges from a few seconds to sometimes several minutes. The ball can move parallel to the earth, or even jump vertically. One couple in Long Island in 1962 experienced a close encounter with a fiery orb the size of a basketball that rolled into their living room through an open window. The fireball passed right between the two of them, continued through the room, and vanished down an adjacent corridor. Such unpredictable behavior is the hallmark of ball lightning, and it's left scientists perplexed for many, many years. The phenomenon is typically described as being white or yellow, orange, red, or blue. It's frequently described as extremely bright with a luminous nature that's comparable to that of the sun. There have been reports of small balls of bright plasma-like light moving over the ground and then vanishing all the way back to the time of the early Greeks. On a stormy Sunday in Devonshire, England, one of the first documented reports of ball lightning was ever made. A severe thunderstorm broke out on October 21st, 1638, as people gathered at a church in Wycombe in the Moor, Devon, England. Witnesses described an eight-foot ball of fire tearing through the church, tossing large stones from the walls to the ground, smashing pews and windows, and filling the church with smoke and a pungent sulfur odor. Four people were killed and many more were injured in what is widely considered to be the first known account of ball lightning in England. Since then, there have been thousands of sightings. There's no clear explanation how ball lightning forms. Some scientists speculate it's caused by static electricity and the discharge thereof, while others believe it's linked to the interaction of lightning and the Earth's magnetic field. In 2019, there was a hypothesis that they're simply light photons trapped inside a bubble of thin air. Though it's been documented to cause injury and damage, the unpredictable nature of this phenomenon only adds to its mystery. These are Interesting Things with J.C.